everybody, this is Craig. I'm just driving down the internet superhighway to tell you about a new awesome VTEX product that's coming out to just do like a spotlight. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna shine some light on 800 gig transceivers. Uh, but before we jump into that, let's just take a little trip down the old internet superhighway. So as we move into the future, of course the one thing we're gonna want and we're gonna need we're gonna see a development of faster and faster technology. So currently right now, we're in this 200 and 400 gig speed. Uh, we're just coming out with 800 gig and 1.6 uh, Terra is being developed. And in the future, we just you know see this continuing to go, right? So we're gonna move into 3.2, 6.4 Terra, and it's just gonna keep going and going and going. Right? So the need for faster and faster devices doesn't look like it's gonna slow down anytime in the future. But not all people and all applications need this speed. Some um, tools and some solutions are perfectly fine in the slow lane and they don't have to be all the way in the fast lane. But for those applications that need to be in the fast lane, what's driving some of that stuff? So let's just kind of take a look at where 800 gig is really gonna be used for. So we see a lot of push as cloud solutions are growing, getting storage, accessibility, uh, there's going to be more development in the hyperscale data centers. So there's going to be a lot of work there that's going to push towards 800. Uh, additional things such as artificial intelligence, machine learning, um, also into uh, gaming and use of things in uh, virtual reality, uh, augmented reality. And um, as we saw during the pandemic, there was a lot of push from home. So th that's something that we're looking for in the future is how that's going to change, how workplace and institutions such as like universities and offices are going to change and more of that uh, access for faster data rates are going to be needed outside of the office outside of a uh, campus type setting so as we progress through the last couple years where do we see this breakdown of uh, 400 gig and 800 gig and where is it going forward so right around now the majority player is still 400 gig, right? There's only a little percentage of 800 gig products out there, but that's changing this year. So also here on VTEX, we're coming out with our 800 gig products in 2023. And as we move into the next couple years, we see this big shift going on where 800 gig is definitely gonna be the dominant player. So we understand who's driving down the highway, how we're getting there, but what type of technology brought us there? So if we just kind of take a step back from this and look at when we were in a 25 gig lane, um, how we would move to an 800 gig product, right? So how does something like the QSFP uh, 112 or the QSFP double density 800 uh, MSAs come into play? So there's really three options of how we move up in this speed. So our first one is baud rate, right? So we can move from 25 gig to 500 to 100 gig per lane. So every time we do something like that, we get a multiplier of our rate. Also, our second option is modulation. So having a non-return to zero and then going to a PAM4. So when we go to a PAM4, we also get a nice multiplier of our uh, uh, data rate as well. And the last option we have is the physical amount of lanes. So what's in our physical link, right? We move from single link to four lanes, and then we continue into an eight lane, and we see that multiplier also continue to happen. So a whole combination of those bring us through from our starting at around our 100 all the way down to how we get to 1.6 terabyte. And uh, so if you have a need, for an application, uh, if you're in uh, one of these high performance computing, you're in a data center space, if you're in any of these other players that are looking to get into the fast lane, contact us here in our New Jersey office. We can definitely provide a solution for you. And so until next time, I'll see you then.